Hey, today we are going to calculate the Earth's radius from an exercise and it's a little bit more advanced so if you have any problems understanding I will explain everything clearly so don't worry. The exercise is as follows. Imagine you're on planet Earth and you're on a beach and you're watching the sunset over a really calm sea. Okay, so you're right here and you're laying on the floor and you're watching the sunset. As soon as you stop seeing the sun, right, the edge of the sun goes below the horizon, you stand up and you turn on a stopper. Your height is 1.7 meters and then you see another sunset because you just change your perspective, right, by 1.7 meters. So you're able for a brief moment to see the sun again, the edge of the sun. And when you stop seeing the sun, right, because it moves below the waterline, you stop your stopper and the time is 11.1 .1 seconds. And based on this information, you need to calculate the Earth's radius. So let's just draw it here. This is the radius. You can see that we can draw a nice triangle here with a right angle. So that will be really helpful. This is also R and let's denote this part here as d. So first of all we can use the Pythagorean theorem and we have three main lengths here. So first one is d, the second one is r and the third one is r plus h. So d squared plus r squared equals r plus h squared. After calculating we get r squared plus 2rh plus h squared. And now I'm going to skip h squared because it's a really small value, right? 1.7 meters is really small in comparison with the entire radius. So let's just skip it. I'm going to write too small. So now we are left with this part here. We can cancel out the r squares because they're the same on both sides. So finally we have d squared is equal to 2rh. So now we have a problem because we have one equation and we have two unknown values, right? d and r are unknown. So we need another equation. What, what information can we use here, right? We have the time. So maybe we can use some trigonometry. Let's just denote this as the theta angle and this one also. And the important thing to notice here is that d equals r tangent of theta. So since we know that, we will be able to plug in d for this value and calculate r. And the tricky thing to notice here is that the sun moves by theta degrees in 11 seconds. And also we know that, let's just write it as t, and we know that it takes 24 hours to move by 360 degrees, right? So we can write down this proportion right here. And this lets us calculate theta. So let's calculate the angle now. And finally, we get theta equal to 0 0.04625. Okay. So let's sum up what we have achieved right now. We have theta, right? We have this equation here, and we have this equation here. And now we need to put all of this together. So let's plug in this. Let's plug in the d value right here. So that would be squared equals to 2rh. And that's our final equation. We just need to put in the values here. But first we need to solve it for the radius. So so this is our final form here. We just need to put in the values now. 1.7 meters. Now I need my calculator.
And finally, we get r equal to 5217957. Um, 28 and we can write it down as 522 meters of course subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye i already didn't like this calculator though this thing but it's the same in here because if you don't put in degrees it doesn't give you the correct value you see a different it was so annoying i had like i was so shocked i had two different calculators i had two different calculators telling me different answer okay thanks bye